realize this, the earlier every one of you realizes, the better it You welcome to another episode of Safety Moment with Aliola. In our last safety training, where we give an overview of our three days essential safety skills training, where we talk about accident investigation and risk management techniques. We address so many tools and techniques that is used that are used in risk management. And one of them was when we talk about the bow tie. The reason why I love talking about the bow tie is because it combines three risk management techniques together. We're talking about the bow tie one, we're talking about the event tree, we're talking about the fourth tree. So in this training, we'll be analyzing the relationship and individually talking about each of these techniques, the event tree, the fall tree, and the bow tie model. Join us as we continue. While you're watching, it is good when you click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification button so that you continue to get updates on our safety videos. So, talking about the event tree and the fall tree, the event tree and the fall tree comes together to form the bow tie. Once again, let me repeat, the event tree and the fall tree comes together to form the bow tie. What do you mean by the event tree? The event tree talks about if there is a release to the environment, you want to prevent the consequences of the release by creating barriers, by creating layers of protection, by creating line of defense. This line of defense are the barriers they are putting in place because there's a release already to the environment and you want to prevent it from getting to greater consequences. And that is in the area of creating emergency response system, rescue system, your emergency shutdown system, and every other detection system that you have, active protection and passive protection to prevent the escalation of an event that has happened already, a release that is already there in the environment. We want to prevent it from escalating, from getting to greater consequences by creating line of protection, and that is the event tree. Now, talking about the fault tree, the fault tree means that you don't want it to get to the release stage. You know, for event tree, there's a release already. But when you're talking about the fault tree, from the initiating event, you want to prevent the release of that particular triggering event, of that particular release to the environment. You are preventing the release by creating also line of defense, layers of protection to prevent the initiating event from getting to the release stage when it gets released to the environment. And that is your plant layout, your construction standard, your instrumentation, your supervision, and everything you do to prevent such initiating event, such triggering event from getting to the stage of releasing the hazard to the environment or to the surrounding. And those lines of protection, those layers of defense, when you combine them together from the initiating event to the release stage, those protection that you put in place forms the fall tree. While after there is a release, you want to prevent the consequences of that release, you create a line of defense for it not to get to a stage of those worst consequences. And that is where you now have your event tree. So a combination of all these line of defense from the beginning, the initiating event, down to the release and down to the stage of the consequence. When you create this model, when you align this into graphical form when you align this into diagrammatic form it forms what we call the bow tie and that is a good description of the bow tie model it's very good in creating risk management models it's very good in creating analysis on what could lead to release and what defense can we put in place what are those line of defense what are those layers of protection that we need to put in place in order to prevent an accident from happening? And when there's a release, what are those protections we, we need to put in place in order to prevent a greater consequence? So a combination of the fall tree and the event tree gives us the bow tie. And that is one of those topics, one of those techniques we discussed about in our training that we had this past Sunday. But if you missed that training, even that training was an, was an overview, if you want to join us on the main course for this particular training, it costs just 15,000 Naira or $40, depending on where you are paying from. It's going to take place from the 1st of September to the 3rd of September 2022. But once we finish the training, the recorded version will still be available, but will be available as a higher cost. So it's better for you to be present on these three days where we talk about not only the tools, not, we're talking about accident investigation and risk management techniques as a whole, and we'll also be talking about job hazard analysis, 
We also be talking about safety data analysis, not only analysis, but safety data presentation, how to use your safety data, how to use your Excel dashboard to present your safety data to your management, how to use your Excel dashboard to present various risk management models to your management. All this will be what will be given to us on this three days training that covers so many areas of safety. So it is good when you attend this training. If you are interested in joining us in this training, just get in touch with us. Our contact details is available for you for you to get in touch with us. Thank you and God bless you. Earlier we realized this, the earlier every one of you realizes, the better it will be for us.